for joining us for this week's edition of the IE Southeast News. I'm Nikki Fouch. And I'm Jeremy Mertz. Last week, reporter Ellie Morgan talked with students about their plans and thoughts on Valentine's Day. Hi, I'm here in the game room at IU Southeast, and it's Valentine's Day. Yay! So we're going to go around and get everyone's opinion on what Valentine's Day really means to them. You know, give us a, a brief description of what Valentine's Day means to you. To me, it means finding someone you care about and uh, doing something special for them. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a day for it to be just about you two, like, I think that's it. But mainly about yeah. new love, I think. New love? Yeah, I think that's what it's about. Okay. And do you plan on finding a new love this Valentine's Day? I don't know. I don't Are have one so far. Are you looking because it's Valentine's Day? <laughs> I'm looking, but uh, I can't find it, I guess. I don't know. I don't have anyone for Valentine's Day. It's kind of sad. We have here with Jeff Martin. Jeff Martin is the president of the Non-Traditional Student Union. And we're outside of the game room here, and he's fundraising for Valentine's Day. Jeff Martin, can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here? What we're doing is uh, the raising money to help support non-traditional students. Okay. And all of us that work full-time jobs, go to school full-time, forget that it's Valentine's Day. And we don't want everybody to look stupid when they show up at your... And their loved one goes, Happy Valentine's Day, and they don't have anything, so. How is this Valentine's Day compared to last year's? Oh, uh, this Valentine's Day is great. I'm really enjoying this one. This is my first Valentine's Day in being in a, re a relationship. I've gotten flowers, chocolates, um, had dinner made, had wine. Really, really awesome. All the other years, this was probably the most depressing day of the whole year. Is that right? <laughs> Single Awareness Single Day. Single Awareness Day. See, <laughs> this is new, but that makes sense. I know a lot of people who are single were like, oh, why is this exciting? I'm not getting anything. <laughs> you are never more aware of the fact that you are single than on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Ellie Morgan from IUS wishing everyone here on campus Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day! Day. The Elevator Place were held Friday, February 16th and Saturday, February 17th in the Starks Building in downtown Louisville. Reporter Jeremy Mertz was there. Thanks, guys. We're down at the Starks Building in downtown Louisville today where the Specific Gravity Ensemble is hosting a series of vignettes held in elevators. It's, it's exciting. Uh, and the company, is, uh, Specific Gravity is about much more than just doing theater and elevators. But it's exciting that we have an event that, that, that draws a lot of people. Yeah. And, and, it, and it helps them find out more about the company and come see our other shows. Yeah. Uh, are there different floor levels for different plays? Uh, it, it all depends on how long your play needs to be. If you, you know, say your play's 75, 80 seconds, you might need to stop two or three times on the way up. If your play's only 45, 50 seconds, you may just go straight from the bottom to the top floor. Uh, and then there's times when you know, you can't have two cars stop on the same floor because one car is having a very tender moment and the other one's shouting obscenities. Yeah. And you don't want you don't want those two cars to hear each other and you know one play ruin another one. So, in, in rehearsal, you have to figure out where does each car need to stop to avoid that problem. What's it like to be an actor trying to be an actor with five other people in the in a small little compartment like that? Cruel scene, uh -huh. but exciting. Uh, you have a little space to work with, uh, but obviously it brings out your creative side. You know, uh, it, it, get, it does get hot and sweaty. You know? uh, people get upset, but I think uh, as long as they get the picture, the detailed picture of what's going on, then they come out and they're happy with so yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the, the plays have been getting rave reviews with yes. Leo and Velocity, and I've heard Fox 41 and all this major media coverage. Has that? helped you all in any way? Anything? Very much so. Yeah, uh, actually we've been televised on Wave 3. Uh, it's been a couple of radio spots. Uh, word is getting around across town, you know, and that's what we want. You know, we want people to come out and see these shows and get a good feel of, of what we bring to the industry. So guys, from the crowd and the sold out shows, it looks that SGE and the elevator plays will be back and going strong. For IU Southeast News, I'm Jeremy Mertz. In sports last week, baseball had their first game of the season losing to Union College in a doubleheader 10-4 and 9-0. The men's basketball team beat Asbury College Saturday, February 9th, 100-72. And in women's basketball, the team won Friday against University of Northwestern Ohio 66-58 and won in a forfeit against IU Northwest. 
Some upcoming events this week include softball season opener against St. Francis at fe February 22nd at 1 in the afternoon. Also, the Outdoor Adventure Club encourages students to come to the Hiking and Ice Skating Day on Saturday, February 23rd. The day starts at 2 p.m. with a hike, followed by dinner and ice skating from 7 to 10. Also on Saturday is the 2008 IU Southeast Homecoming. This event starts at noon and lasts all day with fun activities for the whole family. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this week. Thanks for joining us.